This lesson deals with supplemental problem 5.1. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the chapter 5 supplemental problems on page 1. Given this op amp circuit with a resistor and a capacitor and a voltage source V sub S, which is a function of time, can you solve for V out as a function of time? Since we have feedback around the op amp, the voltage across the op amp's terminals is driven to zero. The current going into and out of the op amp is also zero. A voltage V sub S is applied, current flows, and we can solve for that current by finding the voltage across the resistor R1, which is going to be V sub S minus zero. There's V sub S across R1. That gives me a current V sub S over R1. That current comes into this node. Nothing goes in the op amp, so it has to all go into the capacitor and create a drop in this direction. Let's now solve for V out. The rise in voltage would equal the drops around the loop. Rise in voltage. Now here's a rise in voltage, but it's also a negative drop in voltage. I'll call this voltage V sub C2. So the rise in voltage equals a minus V sub C2 plus the drop of zero. And that's the expression over here. In our class notes, we said that the voltage across the capacitor is the integral of the current through it, which is V sub S over R1, from some time T0 to T1, divided by the capacitance, plus the initial condition of the capacitor time t equals t0. We're solving for v out at t1. Let's find this in terms of v out at t0. We'd have v out in terms of v out and v sub s. The rise in voltage at any instant in time is equal to drops around the loop. The rise in voltage is v0 of t0, and then we would have a minus v sub c2 of t0 plus 0. v sub c of t0 is the negative of v out of t0. Put that in here. Multiply this minus sign through, and I get minus 1 over C2. I'll pull out the R1. It's not a function of time. I get the integral from T0 to T1 of V sub S of T dt, and now a minus and a minus, or a plus V0 of T0. I had the voltage cross the output of the op amp at some time T1 in terms of V sub S and V0 of T0. Suppose you want to do a change of variable and just make this T. So V out of T is equal to minus 1 over R1 C2. The integral from T0 to T and then we have to change the variable here. Can't use the same symbol. It means something very different in calculus. So we'll just use dummy variable x, v sub s of x dx, plus the initial condition of the output of the op amp. We're taking the integral of the input over an interval of time divided by a scalar. And this is supplemental problem 5.1.